Your life is full of newness. Your life is full of blessings. And I know there's things that you lost in your past that you may think back to to this day and say, man, I had some good memories. Or man, I may have lost this person or this person may have passed and I had good memories with them. And this other person may have been around that snaked me, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's like, I get it, bro. Like I get it, sis. Like life isn't easy, right? We miss people, we take losses, we go through certain things, but just trust God and know that when he calls you forward, there's more in your future and there's more blessings going in the direction that he's pointing you in than there ever was in your past. There's more happiness, more joy, more peace, more love than you could ever imagine moving in this direction than there is this direction, right? Think of how you used to feel in the past versus how you feel now. Think about how you used to look in the past versus how you look now. Think about how you used to walk, talk, and move concerning the Most High God in the past versus how you do now. You're not the same anymore, bro. You're not the same anymore, sis. And once you change, you can't go back to how things used to be. Once you change, it's always for progression. It's always newness. It's always blessings with your name on them. And it's not always easy, but you have to keep pushing because there's nothing for us in the past but the past <laughs> and it's already past <laughs> so we're good off that right humble yourself learn from everything you've gone through just because you're moving forward don't look down on anybody from the past see the energy that you let people out your life with is the energy that you attract so just because you've released people out of your life or you move forward do it with love you don't have to do it like in a big headed mindset because it wasn't even you who told you to do it. If it was up to you, you probably would have still been sitting there getting tricked and you know what I'm saying? Like feeding in the people, loving on people that really don't love you, right? But because you were obedient to God, you're not doing nothing wrong. So you don't have to feel bad. You're not doing nothing wrong. So you don't have to feel prideful, right? You're not holding any grudges. See the typical person, they cut people off because they're holding grudges. <laughs> They're mad, they're in their feelings. No, this is never the case with you. Everything that you do is because you're obedient. This is why you're able to move so smoothly and flow and you don't have that extra hiccup in the way you move when you have to cut things off, cut people off, cut situations off and move forward for the kingdom of God as far as not dealing with people anymore, right? It's easy for you because it's a matter of obedience, right? You don't have to overthink and feel the typical emotions of the world like oh i got my feelings hurt or oh you know this is a bad person and i'm better than this person and they're not good enough for me you know like it's not even that type of party and it doesn't have to be that type of party just because two people or two situations or two outcomes or you know two of anything choose to separate or even if you and a group of friends choose to separate just by growth, or you guys have kids, or you guys, you know what I'm saying, have businesses, houses, life takes its own course. There's no problem with that. It doesn't have to be, oh, this person's wrong, that person's wrong. Now in your situation, yes, these people did snake you. But I'm telling you the mindset that you release these people with and keep them out of your life is that of a person that's already forgiven and it's whatever, like, it's not like they didn't do nothing, like you forgot, but you just forgive and it's nothing, it's nonchalant. Uh, it's, bye, uh, moving forward. Uh, I don't care enough to care enough. <laughs> that's that's this, that's a stinger that they want. When people do you wrong, even though they're out of your life, they want it to sting in some type of way. It doesn't sting. <laughs> Smile, enjoy yourself, understand you didn't do nothing wrong. God has a calling on your life. For the future not the past because the past has already passed so leave those emotions in the past as far as the negative ones the positive memories from the people that you lost keep those with you right the positive memories from the relationships that you built with your loved ones and you know what i'm saying it's like great things that you would uh never forget that built your character yeah keep those with you even the positive memories from you know certain situations that may have uh, did you wrong or whatever 
You don't have to overthink in the past and like stagnate on them, but you can still say, hey, thank you for the positive memories, even though you're out of my life, right? That's the best definition of non-bitter, right? And like I said, when you allow things to leave your life with love and humbleness, what do you think you're going to attract times a thousand? So keep that with you, whether you're not on good terms with somebody, whether out of your life, whether you're just moving forward. It's not personal. It's a matter of God calling you to move forward. Don't take it personal. Don't feel like it's anything to attach yourself to. Feel light because blessings are coming. Feel light because when you're going up a mountain, why would you put extra baggage on you? <laughs> when you're going up a mountain, why would you put all these unnecessary emotions on you? It don't make sense, right? So lighten up. Don't beat yourself up. Don't wonder why this or wonder why that. No, God has a purpose on your life and it's in a forward moving direction, right? It's never going to be backwards. Just like his word is not backwards, just like your gifts are not backwards, just like your growth is not backwards, he's not gonna tell you to do anything backwards. That's the enemy. You know what I'm saying? He like to reverse the words and do all the, no, nah, we don't do that. We're moving forward with it. So I love you guys. If you know you're not going to allow yourself to move backwards, and you know there's really nothing for you in the past that's going to develop you and grow you closer, Lord Jesus, in his purpose for your life, don't you be afraid to hop down there in the comment section and say, there's nothing for me in my past. Forward movement only. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Make sure you guys hop down there. Join the membership program. Make sure you guys hop down there. Like this thing up. Share this thing up. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button for keeping the loop every time you drop. I'll catch you guys in the next one.